Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at different user roles available in PAM. Um, so as you onboard users, either from Active Directory or LDAP or Azure AD, you will have to designate them with a particular role. So this uh, represents what kind of operations or activities they are going to perform inside the PAM application. So by default, PAM comes bundled with five predefined roles, namely administrator, password administrator, privilege user, password user, and password auditor. Um, so these roles can be broadly classified into two categories. So the first three roles are admin type roles, and the other two are end user type roles. So majority of your users would be end users or password users because they will be using PAM mainly for consumption. They might be checking out some passwords or connecting to devices or requesting access to different areas of your IT, but uh, they will primarily be using PAM for consumption. Um, and auditors are just like end users with more access to auditing and reporting capabilities of PAM. And the first three roles are all administrative type roles, and that's our uh, licensing model. In other words, your product license is based on the number of admin users you would like to have. And that said, the reason we have three different admin level roles is to limit what these users can do. So for example, if you have uh, team leads or department heads who will be onboarding teams information, collecting it together, and then delegating it to different users. They only need to be password administrators because that's all they are going to do. They are going to onboard teams information and then delegate access. Um, so password users will not have user management or administrative rights, so they cannot promote or demote someone else. They will also not have access to the auditing area of PAM or the security settings of PAM. So, Password administrator is a good role for team leads or department leads who will be uh, managing and administering their own team's information. And uh, administrator is another role which kind of provides access to all areas except security settings. And so it's recommended to only have one or two users with administrator role. And similarly, privilege administrator role is also um, a highly privileged uh, role because of the fact that it provides access to all areas of PAM. Now, it is good to note that just because you're a privileged admin or a password admin or an admin, it doesn't mean you can see all information stored inside PAM. Obviously, we have an ownership concept or a sharing concept where a user can only see the information added by them and or explicitly shared with them. But that said, because of the fact this user role provides access to security settings, it's recommended to have only one or two users designated with privileged administrative role. Now, if you are not satisfied with these five built-in roles and say you would like to customize more, then we have a custom role feature. Under admin tab, you will find this roles option. Say, for example, I would like to create a user with a password administrator type permission, but I don't want them to be able to delete anything. So I will create a role called semi-admin, for example, and I will choose the base role as password administrator. But then I will remove the delete permission from all tabs and all areas of PAM. So that way, when I preview and save this role, and if I assign this role to any user, they will be password admins, but without ability to delete any of the information stored inside PAM. 